welcome back coinsy worlds if you haven't already hit that like smash and subscribe today we're going to be gasless flux core welding some thin square tubing we're going to be using my hobart handler 140. so i just want to head and show you a couple examples of what you don't want to do one of them was sticking out too much the other one was pushing the other one was going too fast the other one was moving too slow after that i gave you two techniques of how to do it like little tight zigzags and little tight circles I'm trying to run this one right here as far as possible. So I'm going to exaggerate my stick out maybe by an inch or two. I'm going to see. There's about an inch right here. You know what? I feel comfortable. Let's try to do two, two and a half inches. Let's go see what happens. And I'm just trying to see what happens and show you guys what happens when you use too much stick out. So don't forget to stay tuned to see the results. All right. Next, I'm going to be pushing this gaslix flux cord instead of pulling. Remember, guys, if it leaves a slag, you have to drag. But depending on the flux core wire you use, you might have to push, especially if you're going vertical up with pipe welding with flux core. I've always had to go on. Uh, if I have to go vertical up, I honestly have to push the flux. So, I mean, you know, we got to see what's uh, according to the wire. All right, next, what I try to do is I try to go super fast as soon as I strike my arc. I don't even establish the puddle, I just start dragging. Boom, let's go. Again, stay tuned to see the results. They're gonna come up shortly. On this one, I try to run it normal, uh, a little perpendicular, and I try to go as slow as possible just to see, uh, show you guys what it looks like to blow holes. But so far, I'm not succeeding, and it's probably because I have the machine set to the right settings with the wire and the thickness of this material. On this one, I stuck out way too much. On this one, I pushed instead of dragging. Remember, release a slag, you have to drag. This one, this one, I move way too fast. And then here, I was trying to move slow to show you that you will blow holes through if you take forever but it just didn't go as i wanted to but it's what it is okay now let's go ahead and flip this little work piece and let's get to welding i'm gonna show you guys two really cool techniques zigzags and little circles on the flat position so don't go anywhere stay tuned if you haven't already hit the like smash and subscribe welcome to the family's coinsy weld the first technique we're gonna try is a zigzag it's gonna look like this We go ahead and try to keep the zigzags as tight as possible and as uniform as possible. I don't do a very good example here with this soapstone, but either way, okay, let's proceed. I like to have my stick at about quarter to mm, at the most three quarters, but I like to have half inch stick out. It's comfortable and best for me. All right. I don't go perpendicular, especially because gasless flux cores leaves a slag. Remember, if it leaves a slag, you have to drag, or at least that's what I was taught, rule, rule of thumb. I always, always, always like to do dry runs to see my body positioning and then I go ahead and strike my arc. Once I establish my puddle, I go ahead and proceed to do the tight little zigzag technique that I was just talking about. Nice, tight, keep eyes on the puddle, keep eyes on the toes of the weld, that's the edges, that's the sides of the weld. Make sure you, that puddle looks consistent. Make sure that you're fusing both sides. Make sure you're touching both sides. Make sure you're manipulating the puddle. Remember, keep your eyes on the puddle. In this technique, again, we're doing tight little zigzag techniques and I'm moving fast. I'm using the Hobart Handler 140. Always look at your chart, adjust, adjust your settings accordingly. Next, we have circles. Always want to eat half of your previous weld, half of your previous circle. This circles technique is by far my favorite with this machine, with these settings, with this wire and this process, gasless flux core welding, thin square tubing. I like to keep the circles nice and tight. I always make sure that I have full control of the puddle. I make sure I have fusion on both sides. I touch both sides in a circular motion and I always eat half of the cir previous circle that I just welded.
If you guys have any questions, don't forget to leave them in the comments below. I'll go ahead and answer them. So this is what the zigzag technique looks like and this is what the circle technique looks like. Thank you so much. I appreciate all you guys.